Hello everyone, Matt Thompson with you at the MCG ahead of Friday Night Football. It is Geelong taking on Collingwood in a grand final rematch here tonight. A crowd of some 75,000 fans expected. Warnings about car parking in this precinct with other events happening at other venues as well. You may be best to get the train or the tram. More on this game in a moment, but let's turn to one of the other stories of the day. And that is, of course, Liam Jarrah, selected in the Demons' side just hours after fronting an Alice Springs court via video link, now facing a total of six charges. As you can see from these pictures, he was at training today ahead of the Demons' flight to Sydney. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we'll back Liam and uh, we will respect the legal process. And, you know, I think you know, everyone's working out, no matter what angle we take or no matter what I say or no matter what Liam says, there'll be people that will say, yep, we support you. And there'll be other people that will have the different view. It's the way it works. But we're going to let the legal system run its course and you know we're going to back Liam in. Let's not prejudge and let's afford this individual like any individual the opportunity to defend themselves and let's not jump to conclusions we don't even know if this case will get to court the, the, case, the charges could be dropped I mean they may end up in court and they'll, they'll be heard Let, but let's not start speculating on what may or may not happen it's only you people that want to uh, want to start condemning people before they have their day in court i think the public really values the presumption of innocence so again take a deep breath have a cold shower and let the process take its due course Hawthorne flying out to take on Fremantle in Launceston, but no sign of skipper Luke Hodge. His knee problem getting worse. He might not be back for a while yet. He's still got some swelling in his knee, and we just can't uh, we just can't take a trick with it at the minute. So um, we've probably got to get that um, re-scanned and looked at again early next week just to see how long, because it just it's just not coming good quickly enough for us. So um, he's certainly not going to play this week, and he'd even be in doubt for next week too. The Hawks bolstered though by the return of Josh Gibson. He and Gillen have only played together 15 times or something out of a possible 50 or 60 games. So have both of them back there, plus showermakers, Stratton. Um, it just gives us a little bit, uh, a little bit greater strength in the air down back than what we've had in the last few weeks. At the Bombers, Michael Hurley is a huge inclusion for Dreamtime at the G tomorrow night. Yeah, having Michael in the side certainly makes the team look better. Um, you know, very unfortunate for Travis Cotter, he hasn't done anything wrong, but um, just the balance with Michael and the team. Give us another tall target and a quality player that you always want to have on your side. Fresh from their win over Sydney, the Tigers have named an unchanged lineup for the blockbuster. Got a few boys still cooling down, so uh, look, they'll find out how they pull up tomorrow and then we'll make a decision based from there. But uh, yeah, all boys trained well today, which is a good sign for us. Yep. A mighty task awaits in what's become one of the biggest games of the home and away season. Yeah, it's an enormous game. Look, we're uh, very honoured to be playing at the Indigenous round at the Dreamtime game, which is obviously a. A uh, massive you know, game, not only for the AFL, but for the Indigenous people overall. And you know, to further to that is uh, Chris Newman's 200th game. You mm. know, obviously our captain of our footy club, but you know, the Battle of the Sashes is going to be an enormous game for both clubs. Very important. And ahead of the Gold Coast's top-end clash with the Bulldogs, forward Liam Patrick has made a flying visit to his hometown, Large Armanu, 900 kilometres south of Darwin. Patrick caught up with family and a community inspired by his move to the big league. I got the emotional feeling came in back to my um, inside of me, and as um, as I get off, got off from the plane, I didn't want to didn't want to worry about my luggage, luggage as well bag all that I just wanted to go and grab my son you got to show the role model for kids um, what they need from like person like me from big um, from the from the level that I'm playing now um, they need um, like a message or they anything that to, um, to inspire them or to keep their mind going for what they need to achieve for the, for the kids here to see Jared Harbrow and Liam in particular being from the community, it's a really good role model for them and something that they can aspire to. All right, still on the news front, Monday night football squarely on the agenda for 2013, it seems. Andrew Dimitri is saying today there might be two Monday night games next season, maybe three the season after that. Certainly something that the league is thinking about. Now, here at the MCG, a huge crowd expected tonight, as we mentioned, for the Pies and the Cats in the grand final rematch. Some big ins for both sides. It is a crunch game. Right across the weekend here on AFL.com.au, we will have the very latest footy news for you as it happens, all the scores, the highlights, the results, the reaction. So make sure you click back. Have a great weekend, and we'll catch you soon.